Very good. Yeah, he's definitely hooky. Hello and welcome back to the Scottish Man to Man channel. In this adventure you join myself and my good friends Danny and Jasmine as you spend the night at a remote Scottish loch fishing for some monster pike. Back in the spring we decided to go for an adventure to a loch we had never fished before. This loch is situated at the top end of a remote water system in the highlands of Scotland. We had previously fished other lochs further down the system and caught good pike, so we were confident that this loch would also be home to some mean looking crocs. We arrived in the afternoon on the first day. Danny wasted no time at all and got his deeper chirp castable fish finder out. We would use this device to get an initial idea of the habitat below the water and then use this information to target areas we thought were likely to hold fish. With the spring this year being unusually cold, the water temperature was still very low, so we decided we were going to use dead bait. Pike are environmental creatures, they like the conditions to be just right before they become active, and knowing that the conditions weren't favourable, we knew fly fishing and lure fishing would have been out of the question. Our baits had been in the water for a few hours and the sun was beginning to set behind the clouds. Jasmine had one rod to look after whilst Danny and I looked after the rest. So far, Jasmine was the only one to catch a fish, a small one pound jack pike that yours truly forgot to record in all the excitement. So when a fish began playing with the bait we had set under a float close to the bank, Danny quickly gave the rod to Jasmine, hoping her luck would continue. Yeah, yeah is it? Yeah, yeah, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Fish on! We got another one! Right, this is good. This is a better one. Is it's it? Just, it's a fair size of trout to it. You want to try it? You go, again? go on, Jazz. You've got the luck so far. I'm just stick this rod over here for now. Go have some fun. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. He's just dead weight. Out to the left, so the currents that way, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it, he he's doesn't, just, he's, he's floating, he's just, he's not. He's not fighting, he's coming in, he's like. I mean, he's, he's either going to come in nice and easy or he's going to explode at some point, probably at your feet. He'll, he'll do one. Oh, yeah! Yeah, there we Woo! go! <laughs> That's a good one. That way, Jazz. I'll... I can move my line Keep for the sake of a good fish, like... He's, well, he's taking a We'll break. hear a beep if he, go, if he goes over there. I mean, it's the biggest one so far. Yeah, I, he's, <laughs> he's no... He's no breaking the 30, bring but... Him in, Jazz, bring him in. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Keep, keep reeling faster then. Fast, 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 fast. keep going, keep going, keep going. So he might be swimming at you. Keep going, just keep reeling until... Reel all the time, reel all the time. Don't let this line go slack, keep it tight all the time. That's yeah, it, keep going. There. Oh, good, good. See that, if he, re if he comes towards you and it goes slack, just keep reeling, because slack's the enemy of fishing. Right there, right there. Yeah, here he goes. Well done, Jazz. Oh, he's away! There you go, buddy. We're coming home away. Nice try, pal. Walk backwards, Jack. Left. Walk back. Oh, it's a beast! Oui. That's a good fish. <laughs> well done, Jasmine. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
release him whenever you want. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I wondered why you like went out into the deep. I was like, yeah, that's a good one. After releasing the fish, Danny and Jasmine soon headed off to their tent for a few hours sleep, leaving me to watch over the two bait rods. That was some serious fishing. <laughs> Things were quiet for a couple of hours, but somewhere in the darkness, I was woken up by the bite alarm. Danny? Danny? Yo. I've caught a big fish. What? I've caught a big fish if you want to see it. Landing a big beautiful fish like this in the dark is both challenging and exciting. I released the fish and Danny went back to bed to warm up. Just before the dawn began to break, I landed another fish and quickly sent it on its way home. The overnight session had been great fun. We were all up and on the go now, and then Danny had something playing with his bait. I don't know if he's awake yet. Oh, there he is. Turn it down a touch. Because I don't want to. Yeah, no, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. He's coming out now. Yeah. No, he's out. <sighs> Just holding on to it, yeah. Not even pierced, really, is it? This fish was just holding the bait in its mouth. It had not been hooked. This just goes to show the tenacity of these fish. For 30 seconds, Danny and this fish were just playing tug of war. Just as we were about to pack up and head home, I got hooked up. Here it goes. It's a little baby. I think so. Whee. He might not even be hooked, he might just be holding on to it again. We shall find out. Yeah, we'll net him if he's uh, if he's hooked. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't mind the, no. Yeah, he's definitely hooked. Whee, yeah. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're interested in booking a Highland Pike fishing trip, you can contact me through Instagram or Facebook. So until next time, take easy and tight lines.